Well, we got to Fredericton, and uh, we're pulling into the Peterbilt dealership. You know that doesn't mean anything good. I got a code that just got thrown on the truck here. It says, poor quality DEF. I called it into the shop back home, and they said, get over to the dealership right now. So here we are. Atlantic Peterbilt. I hope that they can just fix it real quick. We're hoping it's just a code that they gotta clear and not like a sensor they need to replace or something. Is there a spot for me to park here? Oh yeah, there we go. So if we don't get this taken care of, the uh, engine will derate apparently, which means it'll take away my power and I'm going to need a tow. And nobody wants to tow. Well, I guess the tow truck guys would be happy. But, uh, you know, back home, the shop who's got to pay for the tow, they would not be very happy with me. Got a lot of military trucks over there that they're servicing, I guess. Let's go inside, talk to the good people. So, uh, poor quality DEF could mean a whole bunch of things. It could just be a sensor that's malfunctioning and needs to be replaced. It could be that the DEF itself is actually poor quality. Uh, could be that it froze at one point or got diluted with some water that seeped into their tank, which would mean that Irving has quite a big problem on their hands because that's where I bought my DEF. So I'm pretty sure if that's the problem that uh, our shop back home is going to be calling Irving for a little bit of compensation for selling garbage DEF, but I'm sure that that's, I'm sure it's just a sensor. Otherwise, every other truck that filled up there would have the same problem. And this whole place here would be packed with trucks with poor quality DEF sensors going off. Am I gonna need a mask in here? Yes, I am. There we go, got my muzzle on. Day eight. That's where they want me in. I hope it's a quick fix. I really do. So they got me hooked up to their laptop over there. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Poor DEF quality. I can stay in the truck here with diesel, but I gotta wear my muzzle. I think they all just took a little break. Hopefully it's just a sensor or just a code that they can turn off in their system there or something. Or maybe it is actually poor quality DEF, like I said. I don't know. I tend to always think that it's probably something electrical. The emission systems on these trucks, there's too much technology jammed into them. So it's most likely a sensor of some sort or just a code that they can erase. I don't know. That's why I'm here, because I don't know. They're trying to figure it out. They got me hooked up to all the computers and stuff. They'll, they know what they're doing. But hey, look, there's a military truck over there. That's pretty cool. Obviously from uh, Gagetown, the base uh, right close by here. I've got no good news. I've got bad news. So it needs a new DEF quality sensor. And there are no quality sensors left in Canada, apparently. They're sold out everywhere. So they have to order one from the U.S. somewhere and ship it in. And it won't be here until Monday. So it looks like we're being shut down. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, they're going to, I guess, put me up in a motel. Right now they're just desperately scrambling trying to find the part on uh, our shop from on their end but I mean I don't know if they have any sources that Peterbilt doesn't have out here but it looks like we're gonna have to wait until Monday and then they'll fix it on Monday and get going in the afternoon I'm guessing but I mean the silver lining to this is that it's not my bill and they'll have to put me up in a motel this is exactly why I don't own my truck anymore. There's way too many things that can go wrong. Let's see what happens. Well, we're checking into a motel. Hey, that rhymed. Can't do nothing until Monday. 
So uh, I'm being set up in a motel close by and uh, we'll be waiting, waiting. Hmm, all for a sensor. You know, I know all too well how frustrating this can be like if you own your truck because I went through this with the Volvo. You guys remember that, right? It was in January. We did this in uh, BC, in Langley, BC. You remember that? My bill was like six grand. <sighs> this bill won't be $6,000, I don't think. The part itself, I think, is $350. And uh, the labor, I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, technology, man. Technology. And now I'm going to be late, and I don't know if I'm going to get home in time for Brit's Girls Weekend. I don't know what we're going to do. By the looks of it now, I'll probably be home Saturday instead of Wednesday. And she'll already be gone on Friday, I think. So she might have to miss part of her weekend. <sighs> I'm going to feel terrible if that's what it comes down to. But there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, stuff happens. So let's get all our stuff together here, and uh, we can get going to the motel. How's this thing? Oh, I get it. Then it doesn't open. Okay. Cool. Let me introduce you to my kingdom for the next three days. Not bad, eh? Check it out. Check it out. We got the weasel in here. King size bed. The TV there. Got some dog food for me there. Ordered a pizza for him. Oh wait, that's backwards. I get the pizza. You get the dog food. Well, we'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out later. Couch? This is actually like a really cheap room. This is like one of the cheaper ones in Fredericton. I was expecting like a little dingy little motel. I show up here, they bring, like I, I come up to the room, I open it up. Oh. I'm a Kang. Look at this. Diesel, very fancy, eh? Very fancy. And uh, I was showing this room to Britt before when I checked in. Is there a light in here? Probably not, you're just gonna have to trust me if you can't see it. Iron and an ironing board, just in case I get bored. They think of everything, I tell you what. Diesel, look at that, look at that. And check out this bathroom. Look at this, full walk-in shower. And a fancy mirror. Look, it's like glowing from the back. That's cool, I showed that to Britt. We wanna do this in our house when we build it. That's, that's fancy. That is fancy. Wow. What do you think, Diesel? So yeah, I'm going to be camped out in here until the truck is ready. Is that where you're gonna sleep? It's okay, you can sleep in there if you want. I don't care. Don't look guilty. I just ordered a pizza. I told you that already, right? I'm excited. Boston pizza, that's my favorite. I got a pepperoni bacon mushroom with fresh feta. Feta put on after it comes out of the oven. It's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So excited. So this is gonna slow me down quite a bit. Uh, I still gotta deliver my load down to Georgia as soon as uh, I get going from here and then head back home. And uh, this is likely going to cut into Brit's girls weekend, which I feel terrible about. That's the worst part of all this. I feel, I feel bad because she's been looking forward to it. She's really been looking forward to spending this time with her sister and her mom. So, I mean, we were talking about it. Maybe they'll be okay with just doing the girls' night at our house because, you know, the dogs can't be left alone. And I'll be back maybe midway through the weekend and then and they can head off and I'll take, take over watching the dogs from there. Hopefully we can work out something with them that they can still spend the weekend together. I mean, she's... She's really been looking forward to it, I know. Everything would have worked out just perfectly. Everything would have worked out just perfectly. We had everything lined up, all the ducks were in a row, and then one of those little ducks decided to go on a little rabbit trail over here. And here we are in a motel room in New Brunswick. But I'm glad I stopped and got it checked out because if I hadn't, the truck would have gone into Derate and would have pretty much shut me down in the middle of nowhere. And then I would have had to go through all the stress of, you know, finding a tow truck. Even though I don't pay for it, it's still stressful sitting there on the side of the road, broken down, getting a tow, 
It's an extra expense for the company. They're not happy then, and I'm not happy. Who knows where I'd end up? At least now, look at this. I got this fancy place to stay in for, for a while, and uh, and I got pizza coming. So it's not all bad, it's not all bad. It is what it is, nothing we can do about it. Trucks break down, especially new trucks that have all these emission things on them. Isn't it great? Saving the planet, woo! One breakdown at a time. It's here. Diesel, it's here. Look at this big piece of feta on here. Wow, that's delicious. That is really good. So that's not just for tonight, that's gotta last me for tomorrow too. This is going to be a long wait. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of video we're going to make tomorrow. I'm going to figure something out. But uh, I already drank all the coffee that they have here. I ate some of the pizza. I saved uh, a lot of it for tomorrow. I'm playing games on my computer here, watching TV. I think it's like, oh, it's almost 2 in the morning here now. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get ready for bed soon. Interesting. At least I'm not as stressed out as I was last time. Remember when we were in Langley? Like I mentioned before. That was a stressful time. But this this is more of just like a an inconvenience, a big inconvenience. At least I'm a little bit more comfortable. This is a really nice room. Trucking, you know? This happens. All because of a sensor. An emission sensor. Well DEF quality sensor. He said it's a $350 part. I told you that already too, right? I can't remember what I've talked about already. Today's vlog has, uh, it started off great and then it sort of went as soon as the sensor started giving me trouble and <laughs> here we are. I don't know what else to tell you. I think as long as the weather is all right, tomorrow we're gonna go explore a little bit, go for a walk, go see what's around the area here. I don't wanna stay cooped up in this little room. I mean, it's nice, but I need to get out there and move. And it's, it's not supposed to be too cold tomorrow, but it's not supposed to be too warm either. I think it's going to be around like 3 Celsius, which is probably like 36 or something Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. It's finally setting in. I think I better get ready for bed. So I spent a lot of the day just communicating back and forth with our shop and uh, with dispatch back home, letting everybody know what's going on, keeping everybody in the loop. And uh, this vlog turned out to be a little shorter than I wanted it to be, but uh, I was a busy guy. And I don't know what we're gonna vlog about tomorrow, but you're gonna have to tune in and find out. I mean, we'll find something to do. I can't sit still for too long. We'll go out and take an adventure or something. Uh, I do want to say though that I know that there's a lot of you who uh, view my videos in this area and you guys are all super friendly. I really do appreciate all the offers to buy me coffee and buy me supper and lunch and everything. And uh, I know now that I'm stuck here uh, in Fredericton uh, that uh, a lot of you may want to you know meet up for coffee. And any other time I'd be glad to. It would have been really fun. But seeing as the the whole sickness, the pandemic going around the world. I think it's probably best that I just you know, isolate by myself as much as possible while I'm here. I know that's the request of the government and our company and everything too, that as I'm on the road, that I sort of just stick to myself. And as a truck driver, that's not really a big thing to ask. I'm used to it anyways. But, uh, you know, they have requested that I sort of just bunker down for a little bit while I'm here. And, uh, you know, because I go all over the place. I'm going to Georgia after this. I just came from British Columbia on the West Coast, went to Nova Scotia and clear across the country. I'm feeling fine. I know I don't got nothing, but uh, you know, times we're living in, I should probably just stay on my own while I'm here. So while I do really appreciate all of your kind gestures and offers, I'm gonna have to politely turn them down this time while I'm here and just sort of hang out here by myself. Uh, this weekend will go by quickly, and uh, I know I'm surrounded by really, really nice people here, but uh, I'll be fine. You know, isolation doesn't really scare me.
It's sort of my life. That's what I do. <laughs> and I got the weasel here too, so I'm not totally alone. We are going to go on a walk later on our own because I think that's okay. I mean, we need to get our exercise. We need to uh, try and be healthy as much as possible, but uh, we'll do it on our own. I got to go and get a few things from my truck anyways. I left a few important things in there that I don't want to leave in there over the weekend. And uh, other than that, man, I got TV, got my computer, play games. So next time, guys, okay? Next time when all of this is over, when the world is back right side up or whatever's going on now, when, when, when things are not like they are right now, the, as frustrating as it is being in this situation, I think it's, it's just smarter and better to just say, rain check, next time, next time I'm out here, we can hang out and have coffee and stuff. So anyways, I've, I've got to close this vlog off here. Uh, we'll be fine. We've got a roof over our heads. And uh, it's just a little more inconvenient, you know? More inconvenient than anything else. I was talking to Britt, and uh, they're probably going to have to either cancel their, their girls weekend or... I'm hoping that they can still make it work because, like I was saying before, she's really been looking forward to it. From what I've heard, that they, they might do it at our house or like half the weekend at our house and then I'm planning on getting home on the weekend then they can go and continue doing what their original plan was. I don't know. All depends on life and everything going on there too. So, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for joining me today, though, everybody. I appreciate that uh, that you're here, that you watch, that you follow along with me. Some of you have been here from the very beginning. I see your comments every day. Some people think I don't read the comments. I read the comments. I see them all. And uh, I try to get in there as often as I can because I really enjoy seeing what you guys have to say. And you guys are all very encouraging and very kind. It doesn't matter where you are, not just, not just from the Maritimes here, but everywhere. You know, the one thing that doing this vlog has, has taught me is that kind people far outweigh negative people. It's just the negative people are really loud. Really, really loud. And the media that we have in this world today seems to gravitate towards like the fringe people on the sides that are the most craziest nutbags they can find because it gets clicks and it gets views. It works for me too, you know, I turn on the news, I'm like, wow, look at those morons. Wow, people are crazy, man. And it makes it look like everybody's crazy like that. But no, no, like 99% of people are thinking the same thing as you when they see that stuff. They're like, that's not normal. That's weird. That's crazy. But that's why people watch it. And then they create this illusion that that's what the world is like. It's frustrating. But by doing this video, and being on the internet here, you know, a lot of people say there's a lot of garbage on the internet, and there is. I, I, I will not lie about that. There's a lot of garbage on the internet. But, you know, I've found, or maybe I've, I've built and I've gathered and put together this nice little corner, at least, that we can go to and know that everybody is kind, nice, and caring here. And uh, the few negative people that do come through usually get shown the door pretty quickly. I mean, I, I still let them hang around if they want to watch the videos. Hey, just keep your weirdness to yourself sometimes and your mean comments and stuff. But I, I don't filter a lot of things. You guys are just really kind, naturally. I'll only, I've only, I'd only really remove a comment if, if it was attacking another person. I mean, they, they can attack me all they want in the comment section. That's, that's what I'm here for. I'm the point of the vlog here if you want to throw mean comments at me good for you you got time to waste to do that but if they start saying mean things to other people in my comment section or other people in my life you know that, that that sometimes bugs me a little bit but that rarely ever happens because like i said 99 percent of people in this world are good people and 99 percent of people in the maritimes here are like just a little notch above in the kindness meter they're very kind here. That's all I have to say today. I, I've gotta, I've gotta close this down. We gotta, 
it's already the next day here. I did sleep, don't worry. I did go to sleep, I woke up again, and I wanted to finish this off and just remind you guys, because I thought of it quickly, I'm like, oh shoot, I have a lot of followers around here that will probably want to meet up and stuff, and uh, just wanted to let you know, I'm not gonna do any meetups uh, next time, guys, next time. I think it's just best that I just sort of hang out on my own as much as possible. I think you understand. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.